I am that tub guy and today we are looking at walk-in tubs. All right, today let's check out some walk-in bathtubs. Uh, we got the tub today walk-in bathtubs. We got the Kohler walk-in bathtubs. This is their fiberglass hydrotherapy tub by Kohler. This is the American standard walk-in bathtub hydrotherapy tub. This is the Safe Step walk-in bathtub fiberglass and gel coat hydrotherapy walk-in tub. This is a tub today transfer model extra wide door walk-in bathtub. This is a tub today lounger model outward swing door walk-in bathtub. Uh, this is really cool. These manufacturers who offer the outward swing door, really nice. This door especially really has some cool features. Uh, the pins actually shoot out of the door into the jam of the bathtub, sealing everything up completely watertight. Uh, this is just such an awesome mechanism. Really gives me a ton of confidence in this outward swing door. This thing's going to be watertight and it's going to last a long, long time. The outward swing door is so cool because it makes it so simple for the user to get in and out of the tub. This is the Tub Today Ultra Model Walk-In Bathtub. Uh, this door, again, really cool, really innovative. This is a new walk-in bathtub model from Tub Today, which is very unique in the walk-in tub industry. All these other companies have one or two models that they've had for decades. This tub is beautiful. This is the Tub Today Royal Model. Uh, this is a brushed stainless steel door, inward swing, stainless steel jam. And you'll find as we're going through tubs, the tub today has probably 20 models. The other companies only have one or two for us to talk about. Let's look at door handles for a minute. Here's a tub today, outward swing, solid brass, chrome plated handle. Here's a Kohler plastic handle, inward swing door. Uh, we'll move into the American standard, another inward swing plastic door. Uh, here we've got the safe step, hollow, acrylic, plastic door, everything plastic. Here, the Tub Today Transfer Model Tub, solid door, big, huge pins. This door's a beast. I think they tell me this thing is 80, 90, if not 100 pounds. Look at those pins coming out of this bathtub. This thing is a beast. I am so impressed with this transfer bathtub door from Tub Today. I mean, look when folks get in and out of this bathtub. This is hands down the easiest bathtub to use. I'll tell you what, though, nothing is more powerful or more compelling then seeing someone transfer from a wheelchair into a Tub Today transfer walk-in tub. Take the transfer walk-in bathtub doors. You want to talk about quality and engineering. These things look like the inside of a safe. Here we have the Kohler walk-in bathtub door handle. Now this is just a hollow piece of plastic. Uh, what it does have going for it is that it is very easy uh, to grip. Even if you had carpal tunnel or arthritis, you could easily use your palm to push this thing down. Let's look at buttons and jetting. How do you turn these tubs on and off? Here's how American Standard does it. Push buttons on a control pad, powers your air jets, water jets, lights, and your power drain. We've really got to consider jetting and the function of the hydrotherapy with these bathtubs. How easy is it to operate these systems? Here on Tub Today, when we take a look at the jets, I really like the plunger. You use the palm of your hand to push these things on and off. No worries about arthritis, carpal tunnel, etc. Just the opposite here with the Safe Step walk-in bathtub, I actually had to use my thumbnail in order to get these buttons to click. If you had arthritis or carpal tunnel, this would be very difficult. Now, when we take a look at the Kohler walk-in bathtub, they did a combination of the plunger and the digital control pad in the center. Um, so yeah, you're gonna hit some real nice and easy, but with the arthritis or the carpal tunnel, that center control pad's gonna be difficult. Another thing I found out about this Kohler walk-in bathtub, that bottom of the tub, the base, that's as clean as they can get it. Every other bathtub you wipe down, it's a piece of cake. The Kohler tub you cannot get clean because of that texture they have on the bottom of the bathtub. Beware. Now let's talk grab bars. Tub today, one built into the door. Nice. Horseshoe shaped grab bar on the deck of the tub. Nice. One right in front of the seat to help you up and down. Nice. 
Now let's talk Kohler grab bars. One right in front of the seat, nice, nothing else. Not so great. Now let's talk American Standard. One grab bar in front of the seat, nice, that's it. Again, not so great. Now let's check out the Safe Step walk-in bathtub. Two built-in grab bars, one right in front of the seat, another one in front of the seat, but just under the faucets. Not as nice as tub today, but decent. Now let's start getting into drains, folks. So drains matter. Everybody wants to know the drain speed out of the tub. So we start by looking at Kohler's. They're gonna end up with the slowest drain on the market with an inch and a half standard old fashioned tub drain and waste assembly. Uh, then we get into American Standard. They have an inch and a half old fashioned drain and waste assembly. However, they put a disastrous power drain pump on their bathtubs to force feed water into the drain, which inevitably just ends up splashing out of the overflow back into your bathtub because it can't hold all of that water. The Whirlpool pump is pumping into the bathtub. And by the way, don't forget to turn that pump off once the water level gets below it because it's not automatic and you will burn out your Whirlpool pump. Now, Let's take a look at the tub today. Dual drain, two inch, gravity fed drain system will drain a 145 gallon, 80 inch wide by 36 inches deep by 40 inches high, big for two, largest walk-in bathtub on the market in two minutes, people. Watch our other video on the tub test of the big for two it'll blow your mind. Here's the safe step walk in bathtub. It's a single two inch drain. Not very impressive for what they charge for these bathtubs. Um, it will drain faster than a single inch and a half drain though. Now let's take a look at some of these bathtubs. Let's look under the, under the hood, look at some fit and finish. This is the tub today. It's an acrylic shell, super durable. Love the acrylic tubs, chrome plated frame, really nice fit and finish with the air hoses and the manifolds and more leveling feet than any other bathtub. This is the safe step. You can see how the fiberglass shell chips and cracks. Here's the American standard fiberglass shell, just another example of a scratch in that finish. Here's a tub today faucet. Uh, this is a three quarter inch, two hole faucet with the handheld shower. Super fast fill times with these three quarter inch faucets. This is such a simple upgrade for any of these bathtubs, but no other manufacturer does it. This bathtub, when you turn it on, it is unrestricted water flow into your tub. It's gonna fill faster than any other tub. You can see on the safe step, they use very small standard half inch supply lines that you would use on a standard bathtub. Not appropriate for a walk-in bathtub. Same thing with the Kohler, here's their faucet. Theirs is even a step down though. You actually sweat this faucet into place, so servicing it is nearly impossible on the Kohler walk-in bathtub, and you have the slow fill times. Here's the tub today rain shower package. If you're gonna do a walk-in bathtub, you have to consider all the people that are gonna use the tub. The rain shower package really gives an ultra luxurious stand-up shower option. Team it up with the glass quad fold doors and you've got a great shower package. Tub Today also offers a five-piece faucet with the handheld shower. It's gonna offer the same flow rates. Some people still prefer the two-piece just because of its simplicity. As we continue to look at tubs and tub drains, I wanna point out that when Tub Today does have to use a single hole, two-inch drain faucet, we are the only manufacturer that provide a backup plan, the safety chain, in case of a mechanical failure. When you're picking out your walk-in bathtub, it's okay to have a few extra bells and whistles. You're gonna be sitting in this tub for 20 to 30 minutes, enjoying a luxurious hydrotherapy soak. Our inward swing walk-in bathtubs come standard with a swivel tray, a solid cultured stone tray that you can sit a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, a book, or your cell phone. I want you to turn our attention to jetting. I wanna look at each one of these different makes, manufacturers, and models and talk about the jets and how much sense it makes where they put the jets. These are tub today walk-in bathtubs. 
You're going to notice that the hip jets are right on your hips. Back jets hit where they're supposed to. Lots and lots of jets around the waist, bidet jets, foot jets, multiple jets on the floor, micro jets, jets. You can't even count all the jets on these tub today walk-in bathtubs. When you're sitting in the bathtub, the reason you're getting a walk-in tub is for the hydrotherapy therapeutic benefits. As we start to turn our attention to other bathtubs, they're not like this. This is the tub today's smallest walk-in tub. Look at all of the jets. You want to sit in this bathtub and have the jets right on your feet, right on your hips, right on your back. You want the foot jets, the floor jets, all of the different jets to be hitting you where you need them. Or to have the option to have no jets if you just need the bathtub for safety. Look at the Safe Step walk-in bathtub now. No hip jets. No seat jets, no air jets. There's not many jets on this bathtub at all. These bathtubs are all about the hydrotherapy. Look at the American Standard walk-in bathtub jets. They're the smallest jets I've ever seen, at least for the air. The back jets, the hip jets, those jets are going right above your legs. It's like no thought was even put into the location of the jets, and these bathtubs are all about the therapeutic benefits. It doesn't make any sense. Now let's take a look at this Kohler walk-in bathtub. Honestly, this is about the worst. Look at that drain overflow to start. It's about eight inches down below the top of the bathtub. You can't even fill it with water. All of the jets are right on the back in some odd zigzag pattern. Must have been a matter of convenience for manufacturing. No seat jets, no hip jets. There's some jets on the front of the bathtub, but they're completely vertical. How are you even going to get your feet up on those jets if you have any arthritis, diabetic, struggling with mobility issues? I mean, come on, folks. You're not supposed to have to stretch and be a gymnast to use this bathtub. This is out of control. All right, guys, let's continue looking at fit and finish. Uh, the Tub Today Ultra, Tub Today Royal, all these Tub Today bathtubs are going to have an acrylic shell, uh, lots of tubing, lots of manifolds, chrome plated frame, the most leveling feet on any bathtub on the market. Uh, these bathtubs are built like tanks. Here's your American Standard walk-in bathtub. Uh, again, lots of tubing going on back here. Uh, it's a primed square tube steel frame. Uh, not enough leveling feet in my opinion. It's kind of your standard six uh, leveling feet on this bathtub. Uh, nothing to write home about. Uh, again, here is your Kohler walk-in bathtub. This is going to be another fiberglass with gel coat. Uh, we don't like the gel coat just because it chips and cracks so easily. It's very brittle. Um, Kohler, of course, does a nice job with the fit and finish underneath. Everything is very neat. Uh, but again, just a plain steel square tube frame. Um, now let's take a look at the Safe Step walk-in bathtub. Uh, this tub has a nice aluminum frame. Uh, you can see again right there, their half inch faucet. Uh, these are welded on handles to help you actually carry the bathtub into place. Uh, the negative on these bathtubs, however, is that they do have different adjustments and torsion bars uh, to adjust leaks out of the plastic doors. In addition, they actually have a drain on the bottom of the door to catch leaks coming out of the bathtub in case they are adjusted incorrectly. I really prefer a bathtub door like the Tub Today models uh, that comes right from the factory, adjusted, big steel door, no leaks. There's a great shot of that torsion bar. As you adjust that nut in and out, it adjusts the shape of the bathtub to line up with the door to adjust for leaks. Now let's take a look at a Tub Today bathtub. Um, here you're going to see a chrome plated full stainless frame. Uh, these bathtubs have more leveling feet than any other bathtub on the market. I just can't say enough about these tub today bathtubs. The fit, the finish, the attention to detail. You see those two symmetrical two inch dual quad drains. You come around the back, full blown cross members welded in place. Again, a great place to carry the tub as well while you're bringing it in for installation. And just look at the fit and finish 
finish on all of these solvent welded fittings. Um, good GC Air, um, name brand New World Pumps, super high quality components in these bathtubs. So we've gone through all of the different bathtubs and I'm gonna tell you and I'm gonna tell you why uh, tub today, their bathtubs are gonna reign supreme for so many different reasons. And for that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give them some props at the end of the video. And we're gonna show their largest walk-in bathtub during a fill test. This is the Big for Two, two seat walk-in bathtub on site being installed. Uh, this is a full fill test running the jets. We're also gonna get the opportunity to see their bathtub drain. Uh, because their bathtub has been so impressive as we've gone through and compared all of the different models, I wanted you to really see this, the biggest bathtub available period from any brand on the market running and draining. Uh, you'll see this is an 80 inch wide bathtub, 36 inches deep, 40 inches high, 145 gallons. While we're watching this happen, let me recap and tell you some reasons why we're gonna go with tub today, give them the five stars, the two thumbs up, the 100% work with this tub and this company. Um, one, when you look at the engineering and the design of these walk-in bathtubs, 100% their thought process has the end user in mind and the focus. Lots and lots of jets, jets where you need the jets, hip jets, back jets, foot jets, floor jets, day jets, air jets, water jets, heaters, lights, um, auto purge systems, ozone generators, keeping the bathtubs clean and sanitary. Uh, aesthetically, they're beautiful. This company puts a lot of thought into the design. These bathtubs look great in your bathroom. The finish, they're acrylic. We stand behind acrylic. We do not like fiberglass gel coat bathtubs. Brittle, chip, costly to repair. The repairs never blend in. Repair, it's like a, or I'm sorry, acrylic is like a football helmet. Bulletproof glass, you name it. These tubs are glossy. They look beautiful forever. Draining and fill. This is the only company with no gimmicks. Two two-inch drains. Look at this 80-inch bathtub draining right now, guys. This is about twice the size of the bathtub that's going to be installed in the standard home. This bathtub's draining in under two minutes. Your bathtub in your home, a standard 30 by 52 Elite Capri transfer, it's going to drain in a minute and a half. It's ridiculous how fast they drain. Faucet options, fast flow faucets. These tubs fill faster than any other bathtub on the market. You have multiple faucet options, rain shower package, glass doors. Let's talk about bathtub doors. Every other company has one, maybe two, maybe three models. They have 20 different models, three or four different types of doors to make sure that it works for you, it fits in your space. The philosophy of this company is so much different. You're going to have other companies coming out, giving you quotes over $25,000, $30,000 to install these tubs for a lesser bathtub. They're going to convince you that you, their bathtub is the best tub. These guys keep their prices reasonable with a lifetime warranty. People, find your local Tub Today office at tubtoday.com or call 1-888-494-BATH. Again, I am that tub guy and thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped. Please like and subscribe.